What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with my war binder and I'm going to be setting it up for the week of January 10th and I'm super excited to still be in my spoonful of faith <laughs> cover. It says amazing things happen when you're kind and I love the image of the girls on the front. So um, I finally found a scripture writing plan um, that I wanted to use and I was able to print everything out so I will show you that. Um, this did come from a woman of noble character and um, I was watching another YouTuber and I cannot remember her name right now but I will link it down in the description box. She was setting up her um, I don't know if she calls hers a war binder, if she calls it a uh, faith journal, but um, she was setting hers up and she was using a woman of noble characters scripture writing plan for her um, journal. And I went over to the site and I really liked the scripture, um, how, you know, how the scripture writing plans looked and the different topics that she had had. And I love doing um, scripture writing plans that are based on a theme. So the one that I chose for this month, and this is not assigned to January 2022 on her website. It just spoke to me, so I pulled it. Um, it's called Plans and Your Purpose. So it's what the Bible says about plans and your purpose. And I will just give you a heads up that it does not look like this when you go over to her site. I totally changed the image that goes on here. And of course, I added my own little decorations. But... Um, I do like the fact that she has the scripture writing plans um, categorized by theme and so I wanted to give her credit that I got the scriptures from her but I changed the way that this um, image right here looks. So this is what I'll be using for January 2022. This came from a woman or it's woman of noble character dot com I think but I'll link it down below so you can go over there and check it out yourself. The printouts are free. Um, so this is going to be what I'm using for January and then for February I liked her scripture writing um, plan that said love what the Bible says about love and marriage again I changed the way the image looks I just pulled the scripture writing plan out and then I altered um, the way the layout looks you know to be more aesthetically pleasing to me so um, yeah I, I will link um, the planner uh, that I was watching, the YouTuber that I was watching, and then I'll also link Woman of Noble Character all down in the description. Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Cam. This is Piece of the Plans. I do hope you find something here that inspires you. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to also click on the notification bell, that little gray bell, so you'll be notified every time I post new content for you. If you're already a part of the fam, welcome back. If you want to see how my scripture writing and sermon notes pages come together for the week of January 10th, just stay right there. Okay, so some of you may be aware that I am always on a mission to use my stash. So in the in the spirit of use my stash, I pulled out some images that my planner bestie gave me last year. Um, no, and now it's year before last. <laughs> so this was 2020. Some images that she gave me in our gift exchange. So I'm going to use these. And then I'm also going to use these flowers that are part of the New Year's um, um, pages in the Live Love Posh sticker book. So yeah, I pulled these out to use on a monthly spread and I didn't use all of them. So I want to go ahead and use them now. So let me go ahead and start setting up the parts that I know I want to do. And the first thing I want to do is because these images are kind of trans transparent 
I'm going to put them on a piece of sticker paper and um, cut them back out so you won't be able to see right through them. And then we're going to try to do this quick because my church service starts in just a few minutes. Okay, so now that I've got those cut out, I want to establish my little um, focal box here. Um, usually, I write something very important that was said during the sermon in this little box right here. So I want to go ahead and set that up, and then we'll keep working on designing this page, laying out this page. I think these dots will match pretty well with the color scheme. I'm thinking they will. We about to find out. That looks really good so far and the next thing I want to do is cover up this little box here because I don't use it so let's see if this little piece of paper that I have left over from um, back in the girls up will work yep it's perfect so let me just kind of mark where I need to cut it and Cover this little section up. Okay, now we've got that laid out. Now I want to go in with um, my flowers that I was telling you about and I want to cut these in half like I normally do and lay these across the top and maybe even the bottom of the page I'm not sure about that but let's see let's start with the top and then see what we're working with after we finish the top portion Okay, so now I have got all my flowers laid out. Now I'm going to go in and add my um, my dolls. So I'm going to use this doll, the praying one, in the or on the uh, scripture writing side, and we'll put her right here. And I may have to cut a little bit of her hair off hopefully not too much oh no I don't have to that's good 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 she fit on there just make sure okay good so she's fitting on there nicely and then I'm going to put the other girl on this corner over here Snip a little tiny bit of her hair off. I'm 
me just ever so slightly a little hair. <laughs> a hair. Okay, and let's see. What else do I want to do? I'm feeling like I want more flowers. So I think I might put one here. And... I think I might put one over here where it says errands just to cover that up. And you can still see the January. And now I think I want to go here. A little bit more florals. And I think I'm going to go down the side of the scripture writing page. This long sticker in oh, don't rip please in half and I think I'm going to use this one start right after the January and just take it on down the side of the page And then the last thing I want to do is come back in with more of the washi and then we're going to be done. I'm going to put a flower here. Maybe I should put this piece. I just hate to waste these beautiful stickers. I hate to do that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this last one right here on the bottom. Okay, then we're going to go in with this washi tape and just underline the days of the week. All right, y'all, I think that's gonna do it for me for this layout for this week. So let's go ahead and put it back inside the war binder. Here we go. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new content right here for you. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great week of scripture writing. And if you're taking sermon notes, if you're doing Bible study, I hope it all goes well for you and that you just deepen your relationship with God and draw closer and closer to him with each passing day. I hope your week is full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.